every fucking hard. Hold on, I, hold on. I, Spe- I can hate them every fucking where. <laughs> speaking of speaking of teams that just cannot score. Oh man, these, come on, man. 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 <laughs> these fucking these Cleveland Cavaliers, man. What is this? Seventy nine points. <laughs> Lowest, in, yeah, that game lowest in franchise playoff history? I didn't even know that. Damn. Damn. Now, I knew this was going to be an ugly dog fight, but damn. This is ugly. Garland, four for 21. After, after he had a good bounce back game in game two, he mm-hmm. goes out and, and, and does this in New York. Four for 21. They they started Levert. They said, man, fuck this Okoro guy. So they started Levert. That was the first sign for me. That was the first sign yeah, for you? Starting Levert was really fucking stupid. Yeah, I didn't like that move. That was really dumb. Why in particular, no, did you did not like that move? Was it the defense side? That was a dumb move. No, it's nothing wrong with the defense, but it just eliminates all of your scoring off the bench. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Because Levert can just come in and jack and be like a difference maker that way. If you're gonna start him, and it's not like as good as he is as a shooter and everything, he started picking up a little bit in the second half. But it's like, I guess we'll talk about the Warriors later. But he doesn't add like a speed element, so it's kind of like you're adding him in, but you're taking out like it doesn't. It doesn't really change the offense. He's just gonna he's gonna do what a core does, but better. But then. You got to bring a oh, core. Out on the defense, too. You got to bring Osmond. I just started Osmond. I just started Jetty. I've been saying this. Jetty should Yo, start. You got to start Danny. Jetty, get, Jetty mm-hmm. has zero points that game. That's okay. Starting Danny. They don't need. Oh, I mean, that biggest is not, thing is, that Garland, is not okay. Garland's first, Garland going to have up and down games his first postseason. I already knew they were losing this game. I said it yesterday. Yeah, but did you see Hold four down. for did you see four for twenty one coming? No, I didn't course. see him being that bad. No one saw him being that bad. You know what? Honestly, I'm not even gonna hold you. This is better than game one to me. At least he kept shooting it. He's okay. gonna have to shoot it. He misses, he misses, but he's gonna have I mean, to they're it. gonna have to shoot it because they get absolutely nothing from their bench, especially with a coral in the bench now. And then well, they got yeah, if, you lose, if you leave Lavert off of it, you fuck up the whole thing. That and then they the got nothing thing. from their bigs either. On top of what do you it, think? What do you points. think the logic was of putting Lavert in there? What what, was, what do you think they were thinking that they were gonna get out of that? They were just it's thinking offense. that for after they or defensively that it would make Jalen Brunson have to guard somebody. He wouldn't be able to chill in the corner on a shooter that's just going to stand in the corner. Right. So basically that was the logic behind it, but I don't I didn't like it. Right. Cuz he has also, it, it hasn't been successful in this in this season so far. So why now would you think that all of a sudden you're just going to have this monumental success just because he started? Yeah. Go ahead, Demetrius. Plus I, I would say as well, Osman was the guy who was Jetty was guarding Brunson when I seen him most bothered in this series. He's the guy who's been bothering him, though. So why don't you just make him work harder on offense? By the way, not to completely absolve him, Donovan had six turnovers. He's got to be better. This is sloppy all the way around. Yeah. Rubio stepped in there for five minutes and just threw that bitch away twice. Mm-hmm. So did Neto. Huh. So, and, and that's the thing is when you take Levert off the bench, you now you need someone else who can dribble, too. Neto, Neto, was definitely, Neto definitely came in at the end of the game when, when they was already down fucking 20. Yeah. Him, Robert, Rubio, Lamar not. Stevens, Andy Wade. Yeah, all these three minutes, that was definitely the end of the bench rotation right there. Yep. I feel like Rubio was in. I, I, I didn't watch. So I like, no, I Rubio like played. Did. His minutes were in the regular, like, yeah. it was like well, in the second quarter. I was talking about Neto specifically. Yeah, yeah, specifically Neto. Right. He played in the, the game. But Rubio had to, like, his minutes were bad, and they were really unproductive. And he got a quick whistle, like, and yanked real quick because – he can't play in the series. It's obvious. Yeah, he's been fou- – every time he, he came in game one, he just fouled twice, turned it over, and I was like, why is he out here? How about he's that really – how about that bounce back game from R.J. Barrett? I mean, he's obviously the X factor for the Knicks because I think R.J. Barrett is trash. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. But he was really good in this game. Like, he made his open threes. Um, he's going to be open, though. And at home, he could – role players play better at home 
Yeah, uh, that's just the switch is, it really is how they play at the home. Hey, RJ, I don't support this slander, man. Awesome. RJ Barrett is not good at basketball. Man, you said a bounce back game. He had 19. What the fuck? That's bounce it. back game. They, bounce back but if you game, watch the under, game, I didn't watch all under. of it. <laughs> I didn't watch all of it because this game was so bad that I had turned on the Atlanta Celtics game. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watch it yeah. it off. That's crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. Shut the bar. They were watching baseball. The Phillies. So I was just praying at the game. The Phillies came from behind one. Huge yeah. Phillies fan. After that, because I was like, this game needs to end so I can watch basketball. He went talk to them. He's like, well, I'm watching the Phillies. And I was like, Fuck that shit. Darnell, is, is Josh Hart giving you guys too much problems? Josh Hart. I mean, not really. He's solid. But honestly, it was just came down to reap. I mean, it came down to not being able to make any shots. I think it was the turnovers. Every, on the highlights again, I didn't watch it, but it just looked like every time they would they would score would be off of a turnover. And 20 turnovers a lot. Well, That's 20. Terrible. 28 points off tur- turnovers to eight points off turnovers of the 20 point win. Boom. So Dom, so Dom uh changed his pick from uh Nixon seven to Nixon six. Um okay. Darnell, are you st- are you kind of worried about your calves? Do you see him bouncing back? When did back? Dom do that exactly? Wait, when did Dom change that pick? Uh I yeah, I didn't catch it. that either. He changed it, he changed it to me privately. Private conversation. No, oh, that don't count. You gotta say it on the. You gotta say it on the mic. You gotta say it with all right, say, all right, say it on the mic. I'm um, sitting so here. Nixon six. All right, Nixon six. No, no. I also thought the Cavs were winning yesterday for no reason. And I was like, why I do you did. think the Cavs are gonna win this game? I thought they were gonna win this game, but I thought the no Cavs. I, mean, I thought the Knicks were gonna win it. I thought the Knicks were gonna win uh, game. Bro, four. Thibodeau would have gone in there himself and stabbed somebody in the knee to win this one. They would not lose this game. Like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it don't, it, I don't know if they could lose a game in New York right now, man. No, they will. They're going to lose the next one. They're going to lose game four? They're going to lose game four. I mean, they have to. If they don't lose game four, the series is over. Oh, whoa. The series is over. So this, oh, is, whoa. this is do or die for the Cavs this game. Absolutely. I mean, down 3-1 is tough. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so they got to win this game. How how can they win the game? They just they really just come down to making shots because it seemed like the Knicks are just boxing them. Mm, you Garland score seventeen nice points in the first quarter, then you follow that up with a fifteen point second quarter. It's just not your night. Let me tell they you, had 30, they had thirty two points at halftime. Yeah, yeah, that shit is tied for the worst thing in franchise history. That shit is crazy, bro. Shit was like bad. Bro. Like, is it is it not making shots or, or are y'all just games. y'all just boxed? Is it y'all just boxed? Because look, y'all got Mobley. Y'all you already mentioned about Mobley and, and Allen. There's no space, right? And Okoro really doesn't give you much, even when he's on a three point line. He don't really give you much space in any way. So are are they bro, just boxed? They, no, we can't we can't. You do this overreaction. They had 107 last game, which isn't great, but like, that's boxed. not box. Yeah, but when you take out your starters, then at the end of the, like the last pretty five low. minutes of the game, that's pretty low, though. Bro. 107? Yeah. 107 is the highest amount of points scored in the series. You can call it low. But... Oh, the, the Knicks ain't really scoring either, but no, no. he's saying it's a box, as in a box. Like he's getting boxed. Guys aren't boxed. That's, just defense. Got that's just straight defense. He's just. This, is, this was up, always the battle of the two good defenses. You know what I'm saying? Fair. The Cavs just got to put Levert back on the bench, and I think game four is going to be it's going to be time. Donovan wanted to see real quick, and he's like, all right, Garland not quite ready for this one. So do you think, you don't see it. Do you think Donovan – He's trying to smash Braun James. Do you think he's trying to be a playmaker too Bro, much? I'm so tired. Of, Dom, how come every time I say someone's good, you say I'm comparing them to Levert? Ronji. That is not what I said. I said for a game, he's going to snap. Who, Donovan Mitchell? Yes. He just had 40 on them. Dude, he just did, did it in game one. That, you know, I, like, you can't 40, do that. Did have 40 on him. Is that, better hope he wins game four, though. Do that. Is Donovan, Donovan trying, trying to be a playmaker too much? I've seen him up three one. I don't think he's trying to be a playmaker too much. 
he was doing it. He trying to get. He knows he's gonna need Garland. He needs he help. He's two. going to need and, help. He knows that. Yeah. yeah, and Garland has the ability to Garland again score thirty. He can do it. So early, he's gonna do that. But I think in game four, I think he's gonna be like, okay, yo, Darnell. Mm-hmm. So when the so when the Cavs lost, uh, so obviously the the Cavs the Knicks won the series three one, but uh, the two games that two of the games that they lost, the two games in New York, did they lose both of them? I mean, it, I don't think it's anything to do with the regular season in New York, but I think playing in New York in general, I regular think that, season. No, no, no. That's that's the one team where regular season and postseason don't matter because they're gonna sweat every single game as long as Thibodeau is their coach, bro. Every single game is a sweat match. But will the crowd sweat? Oh, let's uh, see. Yeah, Th- Thibodeau was slave on him, man. He's gonna work them niggas. <laughs> 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 if there's one thing that there's one team that's gonna sweat every single game that they play, bro. It's the Knicks. <laughs> 